Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Rosetti Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Your mums will be waiting. Come on, lad. Time to go home. Right. Good. Good. Right. Story makers. <laughs> It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker, here to make stories with you. Hello. Oh, look at all these brilliant pictures the children did. <laughs> yeah. They made them with bubbles. Yeah. And this one looks like the moon. Mm. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, oh, Jackson, Jackson, what? shall we hide, shall we? Uh, mm. From Rosetti. Oh, yes. Yeah, it'll be fun. Please, oh, please. Oh, Okay, then. <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> hello, my furrinesses. Oh, that's funny. I thought I heard Jelly and Jackson over here. Maybe they're hiding. <laughs> oh, she's coming, Jackson. Shh, shh, shh. They're over here. I wonder where they are. <laughs> oh, Jackson. Oh, she'll <laughs> never find us. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, 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 Rosetti! Oh, Rosetti, you frightened me. Oh. I've gone all wobbling. <laughs> oh, wobbling, that's a good word. <laughs> wobbling, wobbling, it rhymes with... <laughs> Flubbling. <laughs> and? And um, gobbling. Oh, good. And uh, hobbling. Hobble, hobble, hobble. <laughs> hobble, hobble, hobble. <laughs> oh, very good, my sweets. Come on, let's have another go. Oh. You hide and I'll see. OK. On, <laughs> Cover your eyes. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> come, come on, Jelly. What number shall I count to? Uh, 23. Uh, all right. Uh, one, two... <laughs> Miss a few. Uh, 22, 23. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> now, who shall I look for first? I wonder where Jelly Bean is. <laughs> is she behind the story machine? No. Is she over here? <laughs> where could she be? <laughs> Woohoo! Woo <laughs> what was that? Oh. You found me. You found me. <laughs> I don't think I found you, Jelly Bean. You found me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, you know, hide and squeak is my favourite game in the whole wide world. Oh, well, I'm really pleased because I think I need your help to find Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll help, yeah. Come on, then, but very quietly. OK, yeah. Shh. <laughs> no, he's not here. Let's try over here. OK. Oh, no. He's not here either. No. Have you seen Claxon? <laughs> she means Jackson. Mm. Come on, Jelly, he must be here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> look what I can see. Oh, well spotted. Yeah. Hello, Jackson. <laughs> 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 you could have been hiding there all day, but your tail gave you away. Oh, I, I thought you would never find me. <laughs> <laughs> but Jackson, we would have kept looking and looking until we had found you. Oh, thank you, mm. Jelly. <laughs> oh, what was that? Um, there is a rumbling in my tumbly. Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll soon fix that. I think I've got something nice to eat in my pocket. Ooh. I'm feeling <laughs> rather peckish myself. Mm. Ah! 
honey sandwiches. Oh. My favourite. Yes, mine too. Yeah. But first things first. What? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I thought we'd have a story while we eat. Oh, oh yes, OK. Um, will you help us? Yeah, we'll need lots of imagination to make the machine work. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Oh, what is it? What is it? It's a rainforest story. Oh, has it got honey in it? Well, it's called Cheeky Monkey's Favourite Food. Deep in the forest, there are stories to tell of froggy, snake, bird and monkey as well. Yeah, yeah! I just love to eat. I love fruit. But my favourite food is sweet and gold and runny. It's made by beans in honeycomb. Can you guess? Why, yes, it's honey. Come on, snake. Be a mate. Where do these bees live? Monkey, you'll have to wait. If I tell, what will you give? My fruit is yours. Snake, please, tell me, please. That hole is full of honey. But watch out for the bees. No problem, Snake. I'll get the honey when the bees are out at play. Hmm. I needn't rush. I needn't hurry. They're sure to be gone all day. Monkey climbed into the <laughs> hole and quickly found the honey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. So divine. So sticky and so runny. Monkey ate much, much more. I can't believe my luck. But now it's really time to go. Oh, 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 oh no! My bottom's stuck! Bird! Frog! Snake! What'll I do? I'm stuck like a cork in a bottle. Don't worry. We will get you out. Why don't you have a wiggle? Oh. Monkey tried from side to side. It made the three friends giggle. <laughs> 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 oh, I hope you've learnt your lesson, friend. Here you'll have to stay until your tummy's small again. And that could take all day. Oh. Drink as quickly as you can, for the bees won't think it funny when they return and they found out you've eaten all their honey. <laughs> <laughs> they waited till the sun sank down. Then Monkey gave a shout. I think I'm feeling better now. Can you three pull me out? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, friends, for saving me. I'm feeling so much thinner. Mm. But I've been so long inside that tree. Mm -hmm. It must be time for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the monkey had some more honey for his dinner? Yeah. I don't know. But I'll tell you what I do think. What? I think that monkey was very lucky to get out of the hole before the bees came back and stung him on his bottom. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Ooh. Oh! Clacks and smelly, I nearly forgot. What? what? What did you forget? What is it? Oh, I've got something very, very, very special to show you. Oh, show us. Show yeah, us. Show us. Oh, you this is are so exciting. Gonna yeah. love this. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's... it's... <laughs> do you like it? Uh, well, it's... Uh, um, well, it's... Yes, we do like it. Yeah. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, what is it? This, my sweets, is a piece of coal. Oh. Mm. It's like a rock that's been yes. made out of wood that's been pressed underneath the ground for hundreds and thousands of years. 
Oh. It must be very old. <laughs> How did it get out of the ground? Well, mm. someone who works in a coal mine dug it up. <gasps> oh. Well, it is special, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes, and very useful. Oh. People use it to make big coal fires to keep themselves warm. Oh, nice. Rosetti, can, can we put it in the story machine? <gasps> can, can we? Of course we can. Yes, yes. Come on, please. <laughs> OK, into the machine it goes. Now what do we need? Imagination. Yes. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a playbook. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. And it's called Henry's Train. Henry loved trains. He had a huge box of them. And an enormous tub of track pieces, which he was very good at putting together to make different layouts. He liked to choose his favourite trains and carriages and carefully put them together and push them around the track. One day, Henry's dad told Henry to stop playing with his trains and get ready to go out. Henry didn't want to as he was happy playing, but Dad said he must come as he had a very special surprise for him. So eventually, Henry put on his shoes and they were ready to go. They waved goodbye to Mummy and off they went for the surprise. Soon they arrived at a huge railway centre. They went over to the old carriages and had a look. Henry touched a buffer and one of the connectors yes. but the best part of his surprise was that he was allowed to ride on a real steam engine it was beautiful it had large shiny wheels a big shiny funnel where the steam came out and a very smart plate with the train's name on it, Earl Bathurst. Henry climbed aboard with Dad. He watched the driver shovel coal into the big red fire. He watched as the steam brewed up and the handles were turned. Then, with a loud toot, they were off. The fire was stoked while Henry looked out the window. The train went very fast. Henry couldn't believe he was on a real steam train. Soon it pulled into the platform and Henry climbed off. Aww. <laughs> oh, the, the coal made the fire to make the train go, didn't it? That's right, green one. Mm. Oh. Mm. What's that noise? Oh, there, it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing with all that gurgling, Jackson? I'm making a bubble painting. Oh, yeah. Then let's have a look. <gasps> oh, oh, Jackson, <laughs> that's really bubbly. Yes. <laughs> quick, quick, let's put it in the story machine. Oh, right, that's yeah, a good on. idea. <laughs> <laughs> One bubble painting for a bubbly story. Yeah. Now, let's use our imaginations. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. 
and it's called Blue Cow and the Bubble Bath. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the still water in the drinking trough. I wonder what it would be like to see water spurting up into the air. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where there's water spurting up into the air, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a fountain. And then they arrived. There was an enormous fountain with a statue of a dolphin in the middle. But there was no water in the fountain. Instead, there was a man cleaning the dolphin. Hello, have you come to help? He said. I'd love to, but why isn't there any water in the fountain? It's been switched off. We'll turn it on again when we've finished. I'm Tom. Jump in and bring the soap with you. OK. I'm Blue Cow. Shall I put soap on the dolphin? Yes, please, said Tom, and using a bucket of water, they soaped and scrubbed the fountain. Splish, splash, splosh. She was having so much fun that she didn't notice the bar of soap on the floor. Moop! She slid across the fountain. Moof! She bumped into the tap. Gurgle, gurgle, whoosh! The water spurted out of the fountain and up into the air all over Blue Cow and Tom. moo -ay! Oh, no, the soap, cried Tom, but it was too late. Huge, great big bubbles started to appear. They were everywhere. Blue Cow and Tom were up to their necks in bubbles. <laughs> it's like being in a giant bubble bath, laughed Tom. <laughs> but much, much bubblier, cried Blue Cow. Oh, oh, dear, look! Bubbles overflowed from the fountain and floated across the park. Soon, everyone was having a giant bubble bath. <laughs> Not to worry, laughed Tom, switching the tap off. It'll all be back to normal soon, and we'll all be a little bit cleaner. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a fountain and had a bubble bath. Everyone knows cows can't go to fountains and have bubble baths. But we know they can. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was funny. Yeah, and bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the light. Oh, yes, look. The sun is unsleeping its beams. Mm. All story makers must be hidden away before it wakes. Mm. Yeah, the children will be here soon. Yes, my sweeties. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you... <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, bye story, bye, story, story makers. makers, stories are fabulous, stories Thanks are fun. For helping. Bye. Story makers, story Come and make some more stories soon. Story